Hey everyone, I'm Aaliyah, this is Bean, and welcome to day four of Vlogmas. So, today, what I'm going to do is start off my Disney collection series by showing you my mini ear headband collection and my, like, Mickey ear hat collection. So I have a multiple different kinds of them from different places and all sorts of different things. So why don't we just get into that right away and you could see all the different things that I've got. So first I have the very first Mickey ear hat that I ever got. It is the Donald Duck themed ear hat from... Walt Disney World. I bought this when I went to Disney for the fourth and last time that I've ever been to Disney, which was in 2012. Wow, I haven't been to Disney since 2012. Well, I'm going again in 2022, so that'll be a good reunited time with Walt Disney World. But this is the Donald ear hat. It's got a little puffy tail on the bottom. And the string is extremely stretched out because I used to actually have this wrapped around the post on my headboard on my bed and it would like sit there. So it's all stretched out. But I'll have to like trim that or something. So there's that. That's the first one. The next one I have is the... Little Mermaid 30th Anniversary Ears that Patrick bought me for my birthday. Look at the pretty sequins and the watercolor detail. The side has Ariel swimming and then the other side says mermaid hair don't care. So I love these. I have these ears from a small shop on Etsy. It's got the Baby Yoda in his pram print and like a black ribbon bow and I'm not quite sure who made these so unfortunately I won't be able to put their information on but let me put those on because it matches my shirt so next we have this classic Walt Disney World Mickey ear hat the back says Patrick because I bought these for my boyfriend these are his first pair of ears and then it's got the lining that's got like the classic Mouseketeer print. And I just ordered these for him off Shop Disney and I did the personalization, like customization um, option when I was ordering them. And then you can type whoever's name you want and they will embroider it for you. The other pair of classic Mickey ears that we have are these old Disneyland ones. They are youth size, and my boyfriend actually bought these at a thrift shop. So I really love these. This is my pair, and then he wears his pair, because his hat is a little too big for me, so I wear the small ones. So next up, I have the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction Small World Ears. These were the ones that came out in July, I believe. They've got the... Small World number print on the big puffy bow with the Small World sun in the middle. And then it's got these beautiful, like, Small World themed flowers. And it is velvet on the ears. So there's those. I got those on Shop Disney as well. Next, I have the Peter Pan's Flight Minnie Mouse main attraction ears. They have these gold stars on the side and this ear is just glue sequins and then this has the the second star to the right which is how you find Neverland and then if you look on the bow you can see the darling children and then Peter Pan and Tinkerbell are on this side but mine is broken and it doesn't stand up straight so you can't really see them but oh well and then in the middle you have a gold Tinkerbell charm. I love these ears. I love the color and the aesthetic of them as well. Next up, we have something else that Patrick bought me for my birthday. 
It is the 2020 years. You've got a big puffy bow with blue sequins, rainbow glitter, which does not have a seal on them, so they can fall off. And then it's got the 2020, like, logo on there. So there's those. I really love the color of this, too. You'll see a trend, because I have a lot of dark blue ears. I have three different pairs, I think. So the next pair that I have is the Rainbow Pride Ears. We bought these at a Disney outlet store in Wisconsin Dells. And if you can tell, it's just got the rainbow sequins all over the entire ears. I love these. They're very summery and festive. Perfect to wear with summer outfits at the parks. Next is one of my newer additions. It is the Wishes Come True Blue Ears from the Make-A-Wish 40th Anniversary Collection that gave 20% of your total cost after your purchase to Make-A-Wish. So I bought like almost the entire collection, which I'm going to make a video showing you everything I bought from that collection so you could see everything else besides the ears. So it's got the cloth sparkly metallic looking blue bow you have this gorgeous like multi not multi-chrome but like it shifts and it's sparkly and blue and rainbow and pretty and then the band also has the sparkly blue cloth next we're getting into a pair of halloween ears these are my favorite pair of halloween ears that i own these were the 2019 halloween ears the inside has orange velvet the ears themselves are the little black sequins and then there is a hard like rubberish bow that looks like candy corn and it's got sparkles that are iridescent on it so gorgeous. I love wearing these in my Halloween videos. Next is my favorite color of ears. These are the Potion Purple ears from 2019. The entire ear and headband is the Potion Purple sequins. And then you have this like purple multi-chrome puffy bow in the center. I love these because purple is my favorite color so this goes with a lot of the things that I wear because usually I wear black and purple goes well with that. So I'm definitely going to be taking those to the park because those I can wear with anything. So next we have these which is another birthday gift from Patrick. These are the Flower and Garden 2020 ears. So it says, Hello Sunshine, the orange bird. It's got orange bird on it, a puffy green bow with leaf patterns on it, and then the side says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2020, and then the other side has embroidered orange blossoms. Now the only issue with this is the flowers feel like they're cheap dollar store flowers, which I'm not really a huge fan of how it looks, but I still love these ears regardless, so that's okay. Next, we have my most expensive pair of ears, and these are the Disney Designer Collection Her Universe ears made by Ashley Eckstein who's the owner of Her Universe and the voice of Ahsoka Tano in the animated Star Wars shows. So on this side, we've got a bejeweled BB-8, and on the back it says Beep. And then on this side, we have a bejeweled R2-D2, and then it says Beep Boop. And the middle has a gold C-3PO charm with a gold puffy bow. And then on the side, it says Her Universe. I'm definitely bringing these to Disney because I want to wear them at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, I'm so excited for Galaxy's Edge. I can't wait. Next, we have another one of my staple ears in my collection. These I wear with just about anything. They are the Rose Gold 2019 ears. 
So the ears themselves and the headband have the rose gold sequins. The inside has like a blush pink rose gold velvet. And then it's got this shiny metallic rose gold bow. I also want the briar rose gold ones because it's switched. So this material is the ears and this material is the bow, which I feel like would be better because the sequins are a little bit scratchy on the ears. So I'm still trying to get the briar rose gold ones eventually. So the next one I have, I got this year in a care package from the Fantasy Pinmaker Disney Crest. They are the Minnie Mouse Witch Ears, and if you watch that video, you'll know that I didn't know how to light these up, but now I do, so, boop, look at that. I love the pretty little purple lights on the inside, so festive. Next is another one of my favorite ears and another staple in my collection that I can wear with just about anything. These are the Magic Mirror Ears, which also came out in 2019. So if you can see, the inside has like a grayish velvet, the ears themselves and the headband has like a iridescent silver rainbowish sequins, and then the bow is like a hard plastic, almost vinyl, um, silver iridescent rainbowy bow. Love those. I have these, which I bought from the Disney Character Warehouse Facebook group. They are the Epcot Germany ears because I am part German, so I like to celebrate my heritage when I find products that I think are cute. So the ears themselves and the headband is like a shiny silver Spaceship Earth pattern. The bow is the Germany flag, and then it says Germany in red on the side. I love these. These are perfect for a day walking around Epcot. Next, I have more small shop ears. These are orange bird pattern ears with a green cloth bow and white sequins. Patrick also bought me these for Christmas last year. I'm not sure who made these either, so I won't be able to provide their information, unfortunately, but I love these as well, and I like wearing them. They're comfortable. My last pair of small shop ears that I have are these, the Winnie the Pooh ears. They got pretty fabric and a nice olive green velvet bow. These were made from 100 Acre Ear Company, which I've looked up and since I bought these, she has changed her store to 100 Acre Market and she no longer sells Disney ears. She sells a lot of like women empowerment and political things though, which is kind of sad because I really loved her ears, but I also Really love her new products, so I'm still proud of her for that. Next, I will show you two uh, headbands that I got from the Character Warehouse Facebook group. So I got this fuzzy Sully headband with the little puffy horns. These are so cute. And then another headband I got from the Character Warehouse Facebook group is this headband with a little... Mickey hat and a mini bow on it with sequins. This is so cute too. It like sits at an angle on your head so that's really adorable and something that I've never seen before. These were also three bucks. And let's see, I've got two more pairs of ears. So first are the ears that I got in the Be Our Guest Express Halloween box this year. They are the Mickey pumpkin ears. Now the inside has orange velvet, the outside has a faux leather band, and then you've got two faux leather Mickey pumpkins as the ears. And the last Halloween ears that I got were in my October Bibbity Box unboxing. They are the Loungefly Halloween ears. 
So it's got a Mickey and Minnie witch and vampire print, a black velvet bow, a gray faux leather headband, and then an orange embroidery, it says lounge fly. And I haven't taken the tags off yet because I haven't been able to wear them since I got them after Halloween. So I will be wearing these next year. All right, so that is it for my Disney ear and headband and Disney hat collection. So before we head out, I would like to say stay tuned until after the outro because there will be the opening of the day four pin advent calendar for Magic Launch Bay. So make sure you stay tuned after the outro if you want to see what pin we got in our advent calendar today. So besides that, that's all we have for you. What do we say, Beam? Have a magical day, everyone. Goodbye. All right, welcome everyone who stuck around past the outro. We are doing the day four of vlogmas pin bag as you can see it's a metallic lime green color with a puffy christmas tree sticker and it has a number four on it also i'm filming this on my couch because i don't feel good so i'm not in my room today so it's a different change of scenery let's see what we got in number four it's the usual magic launch bay backing <gasps> oh this is actually something that i collect so i'm not sure exactly what it is but i know that the character is the toy story alien look at that it's like his head sideways it's so cute and it looks like it's a hidden mickey pin i want to see where it's from it's says it is from Hong Kong Disneyland and it is a hidden Mickey pin number four out of ten. Look at that. That would fit so perfectly in my collection. So that's like the first pin so far in the advent calendar that I'm actually excited about that I actually collect. So that's a turn for the better. But that is all we have for you today. So what do we say, Bean? Have a magical day, everyone. Goodbye.